Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to get rid of that nasty, ugly, unwanted grain in your video clips. This happens usually when you bump up that ISO too much, when you're shooting run and gun style. This has happened to me multiple times when I'm filming a wedding or a real estate video. Don't worry if this has happened to you guys, it happens to the best of us and there is a easy fix to this. I definitely suggest you do all that you can within your camera settings to not make it so grainy, but if you still have that grain, there are ways to go about it to fix it. If you guys are new here, my name's Jared Majors. I'm a full-time filmmaker and I drop editing and filmmaking tutorials every single Tuesday. If you guys want to learn about filmmaking, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. All right, let's get right into it. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe After Effects, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your video clip and you're gonna drag it down to the new composition tab and just let go. And now that you did that, it created a new composition for you just like this. And now you can see that if I zoom in like this, there is a bunch of grain over here, up here, pretty much um, all over the place. So to get rid of that, what I'm gonna do is come over to the right hand side under effects and I'm gonna type in remove grain effect. And it should be the first thing that pops up. You're gonna grab that and you're gonna drag it over to your composition layer. Just put it right on top of your comp. And now you can see it created a little preview window of what it's going to look like with that effect on it. So let me zoom in a little bit so you can uh, see what it looks like. So it looks super blown out because the effect is way too high. So we're gonna have to turn it down a little bit so it looks realistic and it doesn't blow out all the detail. So to do that, you're gonna come over to the left-hand side under noise reduction settings and you're gonna go to noise reduction and you're gonna change it to 0 0.150. And that should bring back a little bit of the detail and then you're gonna go under passes and you're gonna go from three down to two. And this just kind of helps it bring the image back to where it was, but also remove the grain at the same time. So now you can see that uh, most of the grain is removed and it makes it look a little bit more clean and smooth. So to add it to the whole entire clip, what you're gonna wanna do is come over to the left hand side, go under your uh, effect settings and you're gonna change it from preview down to final output. And this just adds it to the whole entire image and it makes it look a lot more clean and smooth, but it still has most of the detail in the image. I would definitely suggest doing this as an alternative option obviously if you don't have to do this don't do it but if your image is grainy then this would be a good alternative to use after you do that just render it out export it and you guys are good to go mm -hmm. 